We've seen how IP version 6 addresses are quite huge and how do you deal with such big numbers? But there are some ways that we can like break this down and what are all the components that go into this IP version 6 address format? So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the IP version 6 address format. We'll talk about IP version 6 formatting and what the format of IP version 6 looks like. Then we're going to get into prefix length and subnetting and talk about how you subnet these. And there is a lot of flexibility within the IP version 6. However, there are some standards that we generally follow. So we'll talk about those standards. And then we'll talk uh, some about shorthand notation and what the shorthand notation looks like. IP version 4 addresses have 32 bits and IP version 4 addresses are broken down into four sections. We call each one of those sections an octet and that octet has eight bits for each one of those sections. Well, that's fine for IP addresses that have that are have 32 bits total. But when you're talking about IP version 6, you have 128 bits that need to be represented. So this is how this is broken down. So this is broken down, first of all, into eight different sections. And so each one of these sections is called a hextet. It goes by a couple different names, but, but these are hextets. And each one of these hextet has 16 bits per hextet and is represented in a uh, hexadecimal form. So each one of these bits is hexadecimal, which means that it is a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but it's representing 16 total. So 10 is actually A, 11 is B, C, D, E, and F. So each one of these bits would be uh, one of these digits here. So uh, that goes into each one of these spots and represents, once again, each one of these represents four bits. We'll talk a little more about that in a second here. Uh, they're divided by semicolons. So that's one of the differences between this and a, uh, a IP version 4 address. And then also notice that we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Uh, here I have them representative as lowercase. Technically, they should be really lowercase, but you'll see equipment out there that do have them in uppercase. So both is, I guess, generally accepted out there, but the officially, um, they probably should use lowercase. So uh, there you go. So there is the IP version 6 formatting and what IP version 6 address looks like and how it's broken down. Let's get into breaking it down a little bit further. Just to note that IP address uh, is huge with, with 128 bits and each bit can represent a zero or one. So it'd be two to the 128th power. And you're talking about a huge number of address capabilities. So, uh, so and, th and it utilizes much of this. Uh, when we get into the protocol, you'll see that we, the way we break this down and utilize this, we're, we really uh, make it a lot easier for ourselves than we did with IP version 4. So, um, so it's great to have that many bits. And let's talk about uh, how those bits are represented. So let's take a look at those hextets, or officially they're hexadec hexadectets. Like it's hard for me to even say, so we just shorten it to hextets. Uh, it's also can be known as a quibble or a quad nibble. So they can go by a few different names. I'm only showing you uh, four hextets here, and we know already that IP version six has eight of these. I just couldn't fit them across my screen and still have it at a decent size that we could look at it. So I have broken this down to just the first four. So we're just going to say this is the first four that is right here. Uh, so what does this look like? Each one of these hextets is 16 bits total. You'll count this up and there's 16 bits total and it's broken into uh, fours here. So each one of those is four bits and four bits is, uh, we can represent that in uh, hexadecimal. So I've got the hexadecimal ranges right here. So we could actually translate this. And if we were to translate zero, zero, one, zero, we see it right here is a two. So this would be a two. 
and then 0, 0, 0, 0 is a 0, so 0, 0, and this is 0, 0, 0, 1 is a 1, so we got 1 and then colon, and then I can go all the way through this, so we've got 2, 0, 3, 0, 2, all 1s, right here is an F, F, 0, 1, 0, 1, Look that up, and that is a five. So five, and one zero one zero is a a. So this would be a. There's another a. One zero one one. One zero one one is a b. So that is the first. Uh, it's representing the first 64 bits right there. And then we'd have to do this for the following 64 bits to totally figure out what this address is. But this is uh, the when you actually are translating bits of these IP addresses to uh, the hexadecimal form of this. With IP version 4, we had a subnet mask. The subnet mask would identify how many of the bits were designated towards the network side and how many of the bits were designated towards the host side. IP version 6 has something similar. In IP version 4, even towards the later part of it, we started using CIDR notation to identify the count of bits rather than having a subnet mask that said 255.255.0.0 or whatever the subnet mask was. So we made a transition with IP version 4. IP version 6 just uses the prefix length and it identifies what is the network portion and what is the interface portion of this address. So uh, when we see an example and when we see a slash 16, that is saying that there are 16 bits that are designated towards the network side of this. And so 16 bits would be this first hextet right here. Uh, or we would see a slash 32 and that would be up until this point right here. Or we'd see a slash 48 and that would be up to this point. So it designated to how much bits is the network assigned to, and that is the prefix length. For most of our networks, we our network is going to be the first 64. So most of your networks, you're going to see a lot of uh, slash 64, and that's designated as the network address for a lot of our networks. And then that remains the last 64 bits are designated towards the interface. So this is the prefix length when you're talking about IP version 6. Quick note about subnetting. When you're talking about subnetting and IP version 6 addresses, a lot of times we do it right within this uh, hextet right here. And this hextet has 16 digits to it. 2 to the 16th power is 65,536. So we've got a lot of subnets that we can work with this. And we can just count up 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have a lot of subnets that we can work with this. And not all the time is this what we're given, but a lot of time we have a lot of freedom with how many subnets that we can create on our networks. These addresses are very long. IP version 6 addresses are very long, but there are some ways that we can cut down on the size of these addresses. So let's talk about some ways to shrink these addresses and make them simpler to type out and to write out. So here I have uh, the rule of no leading zeros. So it, at one point in time, you'll still see sometimes where they'll put zeros in there, but for the most part, we can cut down on a lot of the zeros that you have. The address space is so huge that we still use a lot of zeros. So this says that we can cut out leading zeros. Leading zeros are the ones that are uh, the ones that are up front. And this has to deal with on a per hextet basis. So we look at each hextet and there's no leading zeros in here. There are leading zeros in here, so we could actually cut this down to just zero. There, are, cut out the leading zeros here. So once again, there's three leading zeros here, so we can cut this down to zero as well. There's three leading zeros, so we can cut that down to zero as well. 
Uh, this one does not have any leading zeros. If we were to cut out this zero right here and it said DEF, then what the machine would do is assume that the zero is up front. And so this would not be something we could shrink this hextet right here. That would not, not uh, be something that we could do. This we could cut down to just a zero again. And then this we could cut down to just a seven, eight. And then we couldn't reduce this last one because there's no zeros in there. So that is the cutting the leading zeros rule of cutting uh, any of those leading zeros out. Another thing that we do with IP version six addresses is we cut out when there's a series of zeros in a row where hextets have a series of zeros. So in this example right here, we have one right here and we have one right here. Well, we can put in this IP version six address, we can put one set of double colons. And so in this case right here, we're going to choose what is the largest set. In this case, we have a three here and only one here. So I'm going to choose this three and I'm gonna write this out as 201 colon colon DEF zero colon zero colon 78 colon nine AP. B, C. Now, the reason why I can only do it once within this range right here, if I, if I ended up doing the same thing right here and have a double colon right here, the problem with that is it doesn't know whether I have one hextet set of zeros here and three over here, or if I have two sets of hextets over here and two over here or three sets of hextets here and one over here. Um, it knows that in total, there has to be eight sets of hextets. So we've got one, two, three, four, five defined. So now it knows that this representation of two double, of, of the double colons right here, it knows that that's where it needs to put in three hextets there. So that's how you figure out um, how to reduce it and how the machine figures out how to add those back in when it's doing its calculation to figure out what its uh, address actually is. So this is what we end up with is this address right here, which is quite a bit different than that address that we started with, with all of those zeros involved into it. So uh, removing these is not only helps you in identifying these addresses much easier, but it also uh, is something that should be done. It's just part of the RFCs is that you do eliminate these, not that it's optional to eliminate these. There you have it. We talked about IP version six formatting and what an IP version six address looks like. We talked about prefix length and how we identify those network bits and also the interface bits. And then we also talked about the uh, shorthand notation or removing those zeros to reduce the size of these IP uh, address or the IP version six addresses. I hope these videos are really helping you out. If it is, could you hit that like button?